Yo, what is up guys? It is Scarman. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to turn on the controller input overlay on FC25. So first things first, you're going to want to go to that little gear icon at the top left of your screen. From there, just go click onto settings and then move on to game settings. Once you're in game settings, now you're just going to go scroll over to the visual tab. And in the visual tab, you're just going to scroll down basically to the bottom until you guys do find yourself the input overlay. And with input overlay, you're just going to want to have that on and input only. And what this setting is going to do, it just enables one controller at the top right of your screen, showing exactly what buttons you guys are pressing. So if you're a content creator or something like that, that's perfect. But even if you're not, it's still fun to look at and have that little controller at the top of your screen. You can also scroll over and there's a on local input plus online response section. Uh, this one's not that great. It basically puts two controllers on the screen, one that has zero input lag and one that shows the exact input lag that you are facing. So if you wanted to check if you have input lag, you could put this on just to go test it in like a kickoff match and just uh, mess around with your controller, see if there is any difference between the two controllers at the top right of your screen. However, if you guys are just trying to play the game, definitely don't keep that on. It's going to be too distracting and it's going to take up too much of the pitch. So either keep it off or keep it on with the input only, and that's basically it. Yeah, I won't start, I ain't tripping, I won't stunt. Oh, oh, living lively. Everybody trying to run my wave, they can ride me. Pull up in a foreign to the curb, looking icy. I ain't never stressed about a fit, I'm on high beat. 